So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create 3D product design animation with using After Effects 2025 version. It's my latest version. And now guys, see that's my really cool animation, 3D product design. So guys, second one, you can download all assets and project file from my website free. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch you. So firstly guys, click on here, new composition and composition name. Take a like a main com and duration 10 seconds and presets use full HD frame. So press OK. Yes. And firstly, guys, I create solid layer for background name BG. So press OK. And guys, go to effect and presets and type four color, four color gradient and apply. Yeah. And change, guys, this my color position. Change like this and go to on here corner to corner yeah great okay so guys select this first yellow and i take dark gray color so color code is h0 s0 and b i like 15 so press ok and second one color i like black and third i like black and fourth i like this time same zero zero and 15 and press ok yeah this is my simple background and now guys click on here this is my 3d option check so guys click on also advanced option this is my advanced 3d option check so guys i show you my render setting so click on here render setting check guys best render setting is quality 32 and smoothness 24 but this is my only tutorial part so i change i take like a 8 and smoothness i like four and fit to screen check and press ok yeah and next one guys i create 3d circle so go to one project and click on here this my create new composition check and composition name circle yeah and guys breadth size i like 500 500 and unlock expert ratio on check and press ok yes that's it okay so now Firstly guys, I create circle, so use ellipse tool and click on here. See guys, that's my uh, guys liner gradient check. It's my solid color. So this time I like liner gradient check and press OK. And guys create circle, so holding shift key. So create circle like this. Yeah, see guys, that's my circle. So closer and go to on here alignment. Guys, see that's my alignment check and also guys center pivot in mate. So go to on here center anchor point check. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay, so now guys click on here. This is my 3D option check and I change scale size. So ellipse one and ellipse path. See guys, that's my scale. I like five, only five. Yeah, this is my simple scale size. And now next one, guys go to on geometry option and guys bevel style i like convex and bevel depth i like 100. see guys, that's my beautiful spear and guys now you can also change color so same go to on here fill color guys see that's my gradient right and you can take any colors depending on your work but white color is perfect for me in this tutorial and now next one go to a here main com and guys also select the circle simple drag and drop on background layer yes and guys i change also position guys see that's my circle and this layer should be on 3d and go to on here top view panel see guys that's my red is background layer and second one circle so select this background layer go to on back like this and this my circle so position change and back here like this and go to on active camera guys i increase this time scale size so background scale size increase like this 
and circle scale size increase like 300 and change position go to back and here size a little bit more like 250 yes that's it right this my simple scale size and guys duplicate so press ctrl d so go to down and go to on here so scale size change yeah and also press ctrl d and scale size change and guys go to on here yes that's it see guys that's my composition and also guys it's overlapping so again top layer and see guys that's my spare and little bit change position like this front and select third one front yes right see guys that's my red is background layer second spare third and fourth right fourth layer and now go to on here active camera and guys also duplicate select and press ctrl d yeah and change position yes and go to down like this so guys select this one layer and go to on here and up randomly change position yes perfect right guys i show you one more time top view panel see guys that's my layer right it's looking great okay so guys now next one i create animation so go to on here this is my four second frame and select all spare and press p and position check so go to like a zero frame zero and position out of frame so go to down more yeah that's it right and go to back and play and fit 200 percent check yes perfect right see guys that's my simple animation and now next one guys select all keys and press f9 and click on here so guys i change graph editor shape so create shape like this and select this one and go to on here yes great right and one more time go to back and play yes great okay but guys not looking so dynamic effect so i change actually shift layer simple shift layer for more dynamic effect so like this simple here and randomly change yes and one more time play yeah great right it's more looking dynamic effect okay so guys my background is beautiful and now guys next one i apply this time a uh, 3d model guys how to download 3d model so this is my sketchfab website and type like a apple watch enter see guys that's my different different style of apple watch so i like this one this my apple watch i like this one yeah see guys it's my apple watch 3d model right and go to on second one it's my second apple watch okay so guys click on here download guys after effect 2025 version is support glb this one only glb file so download and select so go to on here download file glb and click on here glb download check yeah that's it guys okay so go to on here and right click and file guys i already download apple watch model select select and import yes and simple drag and drop on main com and make com side check press ok and one more time make com side check and press ok yes and now guys i increase scale size so scale size increase so press s letter and scale size increase like a 400 yes good see guys that's my apple watch and guys shift layer so select this one first layer 
first a watch go to on here so select and here yes but guys it's scaling not correct so press control r it's my align tool so go to on here and guys i quit scaling properly so go to down and guys select the second apple watch and press again scale size and increase little bit more little bit more yeah perfect wait see guys that's my scaling align and guys also i quit rotation so rotation check like a 90 Yes, and little bit shift layer, and select the second one again, and rotation ninety because it should be not overlapping, right? It's my spacing. Yes, perfect. Okay, so guys, again top view panel. See guys, that's my background and spare guys little bit front. So select and little bit front. Yes. Yeah, and go to on rotation. So rotation like this. Yes, perfect. Go to on here and select this one. Yeah, great. Okay, so guys, zero and guys, all, all rotation zero and zero. Yes, guys. Now I create animation. So go to an active camera. So go to back. and guys rotation z rotation select your all watch select both watch and z rotation check so little bit up and go to last like this last and rotation i like minus 2 and go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple rotation effect and same guys select your key and press f9 and same select key and press f9 and one more time play yes okay so guys my rotation animation is good and next one guys i quit position animation and it's not overlapping my work is perfect so guys go to back back and position change so guys press e so go to like a 4 second 4 second and position check and guys starting zero frame so position change so go to down like this and more yeah perfect and one more time play yeah great see guys that's my simple rotation effect and now guys this time i also create this time idle animation up and down effect so guys play yeah it's good right Okay, so now, guys, one more time. Okay, this my align. Okay, so guys, like a five second and down. So guys, go to five second and position down like this. Go to like a six second, six and up. Guys, see that's my like a up and down idle animation. And seven second, and down. Yes, and eight second. Yes, and lastly, guys, go to last ten second, and up. Yes, great. And guys, select your all keys and press F nine. Great, easy in. Yes, that's it, guys. And one more time, play. Yeah, see guys, that's my really cool animation, 3D watch animation, right? It's like a 3D product effect. Okay, so now next one, guys, I apply lighting. So stop, and guys, I this time I take light, and light type I use environment, and guys intensity 10, and shadow darkness 10, and shadow pressure check. Yes, that's it. So go to on here. And see guys, that's my HDR image. So apply and simple drag and drop on main com. This my HDR image, right? This my HDR image. And see guys, that's my source. So I apply this time HDR check. Yeah. 
and go to on here. But guys, my SDRI is looking not good. So shadow catcher on and go to on here. Transform, guys. Rotate your lighting like a 180. Rotate randomly. Yeah, this lighting is perfect. So guys, intensity increase like a 150. Yeah, great. See guys, that's my beautiful lighting. So I show you. It's without lighting. It's with lighting, right? See, it's looking really realistic, right? Okay, so guys, you can use any environment. Tax size depend on your work. And guys, play. Okay, so guys, my animation is great. It's my 3D animation. And next one, guys, I apply logo. So stop. Go to one project and right click import and import file. Guys, I have Apple Watch logo. So import and simple drag and drop on main com like this and guys type fill so fill color I take white color so fill check and color guys I take white and press OK and change scale size so press S letter scale size like a thirty and position change so press P position change. And now, guys, I create position animation. So go to like a five second and position check. So guys, go to like a four second and position little bit down, little bit, yes. And guys, select your key and press F nine. Check yes. It's my simple logo effect. Position logo animation. And now, guys, next one. You can also apply text effect. So stop. Go to back, and guys, I take text tool, select, and guys type any text like a three D product. Yeah, and increase text scale size. So like a seven more. Okay, so guys, go to like a four second. I increase text size more like a hundred. Yeah, and right click, guys. Transform and and center anchor check and align. So guys, go to on here. Yes, guys. Also, I create same animation. So press P and position check. Go to like a three second and position. Go to on up like this. And same, select your key and press F9. Check yes, that's it, guys. Okay, so guys, fit to hundred percent. Check guys, take a lots of time for preview because it's my heavy effect. Yes, great. And lastly, guys, I apply this time lighting. Uh, go to on here, import and import light. Guys, I have layer two light and simple drag and drop on main com. Like this, see guys, that's my light. So go to like a four second and select this light and press P. This is my opacity and go to like a three second and opacity I like zero and change mode. So guys, mode I like add and same. Select your light and press F nine. Yeah, that's it, guys. See guys, that's my beautiful lighting. Right, like a ray light effect. Okay, so guys, now I show you my final preview because my work is finished. Yeah, that's it, guys. See, guys, that's my final animation. My work is perfect, guys. You can download this project file asset from my website free. So, guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.